<laughs> it's kind of funny, you know, you just, just when you think the Giants hit rock bottom, you get this news today. Uh, Kyla Loletta was arrested uh, for failing to obey a police officer and almost striking the officer with his car. Here's a guy who's never even played a snap in the NFL, probably had a good chance to start sometime this year. Uh, now, God only knows what's going to happen. But Kyle Oletta arrested earlier today. Just amazing how, how things just go from bad to worse. Just when you think they can't be worse for the Giants, somehow they get worse. This team is just a, it is an absolute laughing stock. Uh, once proud franchise is just completely in some dark days right now. And things really do have to change. I mean, the culture of this team is just, it is so awful. And like I said, it's just absolutely laughable. So, that's just breaking news. You know, there's not a lot of details on this, but he did get arrested, and the Giants say they're aware of the situation. I don't know how they're going to handle it or what they're going to do, but that idiot got arrested. So there you go. There's a there's a strike against him right away. Um, I don't know what the hell he's thinking. Obviously, he wasn't, but uh, I just heard that bit of breaking news, so figured I would share it in case you hadn't. Uh, there are trade rumors flying all over the place. As I said, Janoris Jenkins, I didn't believe he was long for this team. He's gotten garnered a lot of interest from the Chiefs. Um, Janoris Jenkins is probably going to be dealt before the trade deadline. I, I really can't see him staying with the team. I, I, this is somebody I thought would be traded before the deadline. I've mentioned this for a while now. I, Because he's just not part of the plans. If you're doing a rebuild, you don't keep a 30-year-old corner making a lot of money. Rebuilds are usually young players that don't make a lot of money. That's that's where we're going. So the Giants will probably get some kind of compensation for him. But I can't imagine I can't imagine a scenario in which he stays with the team. The other names flying around, Landon Collins. This is a big one. Um, I am so torn with Landon Collins because some days, some games, the dude looks like an all-pro safety, and some days he looks like he doesn't belong in the NFL. Uh, he's one of the better safeties in the league talent-wise. If the Giants don't plan on signing this guy long-term, then I think you got to move him. But you're going to have to get some kind of compensation. I do think he would garner a big price. I think we would get a lot in return for him. But again, I'm torn. I really don't know if I'd want him to stay here I'd want him to go. He is only 24 years old. He's a young guy. He doesn't make a lot of money yet. He will. Maybe this is part of the reason the Giants are clearing cap spaces so that they can sign Landon Collins long-term, and maybe he will be part of the rebuild because he's 24 years old and he's not quite in his prime yet. Uh, I really don't foresee him getting traded. I, I think the Giants would have to really, like I said, get an amazing offer. If somebody offered them a second and a fourth, a second and a third, then you might do it. But I just don't foresee a scenario in which he leaves the team. Um, but you never know. Stranger things have happened. And then, of course, the Odell Beckham trade rumors are back. Uh, people have inquired about Odell Beckham. There's all this talk. Can he get traded? Will Odell Beckham get traded? He just signed this huge contract. They did this with JPP. They signed him a big term, and then they dumped him. So you never know uh, what's going to go on. But again, I don't see Odell Beckham going anywhere. Um, a team would really, really, really have to pony up a ton of things. I've heard the Jets are interested in him. I've heard the Patriots are interested in him. Um and the Jets have the cap space. Cleveland has the cap space. These are teams that are willing to give up a lot for Beckham. If somebody offered the Giants two first-round picks for him, see you later. I would do that in a heartbeat. I would I would take two first-round picks for Odell Beckham and uh, draft a Hollywood Brown. Um, you still and Shepard as our number one, whatever. The Giants have never won with an elite wide receiver. So if you're blowing up the whole thing, you know, I, like I said, I wouldn't be adverse to trading him. I, I really, I mean, that's a... One in a million shot that he's going to get traded. But the rumors are out there. Um, but the one thing I worry about with Beckham more than anything else, we get a young quarterback in here, and then you got that Im imposing presence of Odell Beckham running up to a rookie quarterback saying, you got to get me the ball. You got to get me the ball. You know, we don't really want an Odell Beckham in a young quarterback's ear telling him he's constantly has to throw the ball and intimidating a rookie quarterback. So I don't really know how Beckham would react. I don't know if Beckham, Beckham never acts like he wants to be here. If he didn't want to be here, why did he sign the contract? It's kind of stupid. He would have got that money from other teams. Um, but every time he's asked, he's just like, I'm here. I'm here, I'm here right now. You know, I don't know what the hell he's saying. He's acting like he don't want to be here. Does he really want to be part? He's shown a lot of frustration over the years. Um, does he really want to be part of a rebuild? To be quite frank with you, the Giants have an amazingly bad record since we drafted Odell Beckham. So it's not like he contributes to victories. Um, you can say, oh, well, we'd be nothing without Beckham. Well, we're nothing with them. So if they can get a huge, uh, you know, return for him, why not? But that, again, that's a one in the money shot. Probably not going to happen. But those are the, the trade rumors that I've heard. 
the trade deadline's four o'clock. Inevitably, I will upload this video. I'll be driving back to work and I'll get the news that somebody was actually traded because that always happens. It always happens right after I do these videos. Um, but the Kyle Oletta thing, that definitely happened. He was arrested. He is an idiot. And just, just got to laugh at this. You got to laugh to keep him crying. Giants are an embarrassment to football. I don't, I don't know what else to say. But uh, until next time, it's Bad Dog. I'm out. Peace!